Hey YouTube, this is a video showing you exactly uh, how far down a 20 MOA mount is actually pointing your scope down. So we basically have four lines to, to demonstrate this. Uh, the, the first line would be your, if you were to put a laser bore inside your barrel, where your barrel truly actually points would be along this first line. So you can use that for example of, uh, you know, that's, that's where your, where your bore is actually pointed. Uh, the, the second line actually on this chart is your 6.5 Creedmoor 1. 147 grain ELD match trajectory. Uh, to dial this in on your ballistic calculator, you're going to want to, to see the exact trajectory of where the bullet's going to fly without any kind of variables. Uh, you just want to know what that fall pattern and what that flight path will look like. You just want to put your height of the bore on your gun at zero. And you want to put your zero range at zero so you can determine exactly how far it falls at 100, how far it falls at 200, how far it falls at 300. Make your hash marks and then connect your dots. The second line is what a 10 MOA rail, or the third line is what a 10 MOA rail does. And your fourth line is what a 20 MOA rail does. Uh, even though this isn't to scale, obviously. Well, actually, it is to scale. It's just the scale is kind of odd. Uh, you have your 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and 700 yard marks. And then you have your fall in inches. And uh, obviously, a 20 MO, each line going down is 10 inches in representation. So you can actually kind of see exactly how far 20 MOA puts you down at 100 yards. So I guess the main thing to take away from this, first of all, is that... Um, 6.5 Creed more at 100 yards has two inches of drop once you get to 100 yards. Now, on a bolt gun or AR-15, it'll vary a little bit, but you're going to have roughly two inches of height over bore, which is the center of your scope to the center of your bore. So, with a standard mount or basic mount, whatever, with no MOA built into it, your your height over bore, you're you're never going to intersect your bullet until you move your scope down. And in this scenario, it's roughly four inches down that we're going to have to move our scope to align it, which is, of course, 16 clicks. Now, with the – then the, again, there's no actual intersection point. Your bullet is falling, and you're moving your scope down to chase it. So with the 20 MOA rail, this is where this really comes in keen. The intersection point, because you've pointed your scope so far down, you have to move it up to intersect your bullet at, say, 100 yards, which obviously uh, you're probably going to want to move it up, like, what, roughly 18 inches, since 6.5 Freedmore has 2 inches of fall at 100 yards to intersect that bullet. So that's your 0 at 100. But where your scope is perfectly aligned is when you dial that, say, that 675-yard shot, that's where a 20 MOA mount, this 20 MOA mount, intersects with your bullet's trajectory. So theoretically, at 675 yards, when you dial that into your scope, your complete scope erector set, everything in your scope, all the lenses, the crosshairs, the, everything should be perfectly aligned inside the scope, which should give you, one, the optimized glass quality. And two, it also gives you uh, more MOA adjustment down. So say we have a scope that can adjust, say, 80 MOA. Since we've pointed it 20 MOA down and we've rounded it back up, you can see we actually have, since the scope is pointed perfectly at this section, 675 yards, we actually have roughly 40 or, or 60 more MOA roughly that we can drop it down uh, to actually give us more adjustment at these longer ranges which is where the, the big deal of having a big mount like this comes into play and as well as Obviously, you're going to get a little bit better scope clarity simply because all your lenses and your glass are perfectly aligned, which should help with, uh, with obviously, overall optical quality. Um, it just a little bit, maybe not even enough to notice, but it'll, it, everything being perfectly aligned should help you. Uh, you can actually see the 10 MOA mount on this graph intersects right at roughly 350 yards. Uh, but yeah, that's actually how far a 20 MOA rail is pointing you down. And what I also found interesting with this is that how far up this was is only, I mean, again, like uh, 
maybe it's not much it's not that high it's it's just very interesting of when you actually look at how far a 20 moa rail is actually pointing your scope down and where those points intersect uh but yeah there you go so that's the difference between a zero moa rail as we have on the top line roughly a 10 moa rail as we have on the second line and a 20 moa rail as we have on the third line now obviously uh, you could go even a 30 moa rail and it would be it would intersect your bullet even farther down its trajectory path but yeah so uh 20 moa 700 yards your scope should be perfectly aligned and you should have roughly 20 clicks more down or you should have a 40 moa of adjustment farther down uh so there you go thanks youtube